Reggae just extra with Ross Dennis. Upon realizing that Bob Marley's girlfriend Rita was pregnant, Clement Sir Coxon Dodd quickly took up the financial expense to get the two lovebirds married. Bob, when he met Rita here and Rita got pregnant, I took the financial expense to get them married because I figured this was the right way and I'm trying to be like a father figure. You better marry her. I thought this is what he told me, Coxon told him. And he didn't ask anybody else. He didn't even tell Peter and Bonnie that he was getting This good married. gesture was somehow changed to a more dramatic effect in the recently released Bob Marley One Love movie. The changes did not go down well with Mona Dodd, daughter of the late Studio One producer Clement Sir Coxon Dodd, who felt disappointed. Mona specifically objects to a scene where Dodd, played by Jamaican actor Jeff Crossley, is portrayed as a gun-toting badman when he meets the teenage whalers, an act Mona describes as very insulting and a gross misrepresentation of her father's character. She wants an immediate public apology from Paramount Pictures, Rita Marley, and the Marley family. My father should have been portrayed as the man who gave him the break and he was his guardian. He was living in the studio. There was a room prepared for him and also the ideas and he closed them and he was the one that um, recommended that he married um, Rita Marley. It's, it, it's, to me, it's like they sing the song, Marga Dog, turn round, bite you. So it seems to me the children are the Marga Dogs who have now turned round to bite my father. And the truth needs to be said. You are now watching Reggae Just Extras Clement, Sir Coxone, Dodds Edition. According to Mona, she believes that her father should be portrayed as the man who gave Bob Marley and the Whalers their big break. The film's producers have cemented an image in the minds of millions where it seems that a lot of Jamaican music was created under the gun. That should never have been done to my father. The apology is required for the portrayal of my father to millions of people globally as him approaching and threatening teenage children with a gun, Mona told Dancehall Mag, an independent news outlet that covers all things dancehall and reggae music, the artists, and culture. Coxon Dodd, who died in 2004 at age 72, was influential in the development of ska and reggae in the 1950s and 1960s, launching the careers of numerous Jamaican artists through Studio One, including a very young Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, and Bunny Whaler as the Whalers. The young group had their first recording session with Dodd, producing Simmer Down. I am coming home. And do you remember in 1964 and over 80 other songs until they parted ways in 1966? It seems as if you don't get the message. Uh. The producer was also known for his nurturing role towards young artists, many of whom stayed at his Brentford Road studio. Bob Marley even lived at Brentford Road as a teenager, his daughter said. He was very much a father figure to a lot of young children. There is even a studio one brand dedicated to young artists. My father did everything for the music. He reinvested back in his music and built his studio to be a platform for the industry. Mona noted, he is also recognized as the father figure of the marriage between Bob and Rita Marley in February 1966. He bought Bob Marley's suit for the marriage. Some suggest that the portrayal of Dodd in the film might have been influenced for dramatic effect by the colorful reputation of Arthur Duke Reed, another prominent Jamaican producer and label owner at the time. Duke had a passion for guns, perhaps nurtured by his decade in the police force, and it is said that he was never seen without two pistols, the Gleaner Road of Reed, who founded the record label Treasure Isle. Mona Dodd also raised another issue concerning One Love, the song that inspired the film's title and is featured on the official soundtrack. This portrayal could be considered a premeditated action to defame my father's character in order to publicly reduce his reputation to take credit for the publishing of this song, Mourna claimed. 
she argued that the original 1965 ska version of the song, which appeared on the Wailers debut album The Wailing Wailers, was produced by Studio One and that her father and Neville Livingston, Bunny Whaler, were co-writers alongside Bob Marley. According to her, One Love has been in a publishing slash credit dispute since the more popular 1977 version, One Love slash People Get Ready, appeared on the Exodus album. This version credits Marley and Curtis Mayfield as it contains an interpolation of the impression song People Get Ready, written by Mayfield. I have seen recently where Alan Skill Cole is taking credit for the 1977 re-recording as Bob Marley was reluctant to do so, knowing of the ownership, where both my father and Neville Livingston are noted as co-writers with Bob Marley. There was an attempt to coerce Neville Livingston aka Bunny Whaler in 1999 to sign a contract to give up his rights in order to further diminish the original publisher ownership, she alleged. My father died on May 4th. 2004 and it should be noted that in 2007 the recording academy of america incorporated his 1965 one love version in their hall of fame giving both himself and the wailing whalers credit this is notable as it was chosen over the now popular 1977 version as the original paramount pictures and tough gongs bob marley one love broke records following its release on valentine's day in february 2024 the movie, which stars Kingsley Benadir and Lashana Lynch as Bob and Rita Marley, is now the sixth highest grossing music biopic, according to Screen Rent. As of first week of March, 2024, it has earned $82.8 million in the United States and Canada, and $63.3 million in other territories, for a worldwide total of $146.1 million. Thanks for watching and do remember to subscribe, give it a like and post a positive comment in the comment section below and I'll see you again very soon for another video. Many thanks for watching Reggae Gist Extra with Ras Dennis.